Welcome to Echoes of Enlightenment, where we talk about spirituality, life lessons, and overall self-development. In today's episode, we'll be talking about building resilience. Building resilience is one of the most powerful tools you could have in your toolbox for your personal development. It's being able to bounce back from different situations that happen in our life. And that's one thing that we do know is that different situations are going to happen in our life. So what's the best way to handle these different situations that occur? It's by learning from them the first time. And how do you learn from them the first time? It's by being accountable taking accountability for what happened. And here's another little thing that works as well. And this is just to build the muscle to take accountability for different situations. Say you're at work and the boss, you know, is kind of getting on somebody else one of your coworkers for for something for you know a problem that happened in the office something didn't get done or just whatever it is while you're looking at them and being glad that it's not you take time and be like well what if that was me what could i do to where i could prevent that from happening Like, take on that accountability of what that other person did. You don't have to tell them that. This is just something you're doing by yourself. You're thinking about it in your own mind. Be like, oh, well, I'll make sure just to make sure papers end up copier. I don't know, whatever. I do this or I just make sure uh, I get to work on time so I don't have that happen to me. So if you can kind of take accountability when you see things go wrong around you and act like put yourself in those shoes a little bit. That gives you an extra tool for your box. You know, you're. you're, You like prepping yourself. Kind of just nerfing yourself. For a situation. Because sometimes you won't even think about that situation until you see it happen. And by it happening to somebody else, you could take that on and be like, oh, dang, I didn't even think about that. But let me make sure, let me learn from this person's mistake. I think there's a saying that says, you know, learn from other people's mistakes because you won't be here long enough to learn them all yourself. So you can always better yourself by, you know, kind of learning from what other people are doing. But at the same time, we're not perfect as humans. And we're going to have our own mishaps in life. The best way to bounce back is to take accountability for it. And don't take it personal. If somebody's like the boss, say the boss comes up to you for a different reason. And they're like, hey, you didn't do this. You forgot to send this email to so-and-so. And and this happened. And don't even have an excuse. Don't have an excuse for it. Because as soon as you have an, as soon as you come up with an excuse or you're looking to shift blame 
for that mistake, you've already disempowered yourself. Because chances are you might make that mistake again now. Because you haven't taken it in to learn from that mistake. I mean, sometimes it is a a shot at your ego for a second. Because you actually thought you were good at your job. But the thing is, you, you are good at your job. Things slip our minds all the time. And that's that's fine. But if you make a note to be like, okay, yeah, oh, that was that was my bad. That was my bad. I totally it slipped my mind. I make sure that it doesn't happen again. And when you do that, it doesn't mean you're not a good worker. It make, makes you a better worker. Or just, you know, we're using just work as an example right now, but you can use this in any situation. You took ownership of the situation that didn't have, you know, the best outcome, but it's on your radar now to where chances are you won't make that mistake anymore. You've learned from that. So now you won't, for the most part, you won't be replaying the same situation again. And then on top of it, when you took that responsibility, that accountability for the situation, the person that, the the boss, is like, okay, thank you. We don't have to track down somebody else. We don't have to go back and forth about this excuse or that excuse. You said you won't let it happen again. So everybody's happy. The situation is complete. Now you got to now you're you've gotten better. Because, you know, you added you took your power back. Because when you blame somebody for something else, for something that you've done or came up with an excuse, you're giving your power away. That's saying that you just can't get it right. That's what you're letting people know. That's what you're letting yourself know, most importantly. This happened because of this. Also, this means you can't do that then, right? Well, no, I can do it. Well, okay, then just say that then. Say you can, you know, you got it and it won't happen again. And sometimes it's even more powerful is. Even if say, say you're working on a project with somebody, say it's two people involved. And something and something goes you know wrong with the project. Take responsibility for it. Don't put the blame on anybody else. Take responsibility. Be like, yeah, we didn't get this done, or I, you know, I, I dropped the ball. Just be straight up. Be totally honest with the role you played in the situation. Just take responsibility. It doesn't make you less of a person. Because when you feel that that little bit of pain on your ego or whatever, it makes you not want to feel that pain anymore so you won't make that same mistake again for the most part. I feel like you would make it a lot quicker if you don't take any responsibility for it because that means you haven't acknowledged it. And if you don't acknowledge something, then that means... You don't even see where it is and you're going to run into that same situation again. But if you look at the problem and say, "Okay, I did this and I should have done that. Now I know you've taught yourself something. Now, imagine if you do this with everything in your life. Just take responsibility for it. It makes you it you it makes you stronger. You're like, I know how to do that now. And what's the difference between somebody teaching you something and you teaching yourself something? If somebody's teaching you something new, they're telling you something you didn't know. And now you know it and now you're like, all right, cool. I know how to do this now. 
But if you messed up in a situation, like forgot to send an email or sent it to the wrong place or did something, and somebody comes up and teaches you how to do that thing that you did wrong, why do some people take that to heart and not want to take responsibility? You don't do that when you're learning something new. Somebody's teaching you something new. Well, oh, I can't do this because of that, blah, blah, blah. No. You realize you can't do it because you didn't know how to do it at first. That's the same thing when you're getting things wrong. If you're messing up in a situation and somebody corrects you, whether you knew how to do it and you just screwed up, just take the reminder that they're giving you. They're like, yo, you you messed up on this. Be like, oh, dang, my bad. Don't come up with any excuses because it just you're giving your power away. Be like, thank you. Say thanks. You really need to say thanks. Thank you for uh, correcting me on that. I should I should be a little more careful. And when you say that, you, you've given yourself the power back. You actually acknowledged. So chances are you won't make that same mistake. And the person who told you that, they're glad you're receptive, receptive of it. Especially if it's your boss, you know, they're like, oh, okay. And they don't have to go the extra mile. And then they'd be more likely to give you just another another project. They can still count on you because they see that you're responsible you're responsible for the situation. And if you can add that in all of your life situations, anytime something goes wrong. And you take responsibility. That means you get a chance to learn from it. So you're getting stronger and stronger each time. It doesn't do anything to your ego or to you. By you messing up on something. doesn't do anything to your personality. You're still that cool person. You're still who you are. Just don't be hard. You don't have to internalize it. and Think you're a failure. Because you did one thing wrong. Your failure if you keep making that same mistake and blaming other people for it. Because you keep running into the same situation. So just learn from it that that first time if you can. And if it happens again, okay, just make another mental note. We're here to learn. That's why we're here on earth. We're here to learn. And try not and try not to make the same mistakes. Over and over again. But I'm in this right here. Until next time.